not minor deviations from uh, Burt Love's plan. One is on the use of thicker brackets on this mechanism. Um, I found that the original angle brackets specified in the plan uh, started to wear after a little while. Also bolted it together with Allen bolts which are easier to tighten up than the collar arrangement in the uh, number 10 plan. A further modification is I fitted ball races on some of the axles. It did work without these but uh, there seemed to be a little bit of wear going on so the ball races have hopefully checked that. The uh, moon phases are driven off this uh, sprocket and chain off a worm wheel. Um, I must admit, still haven't got the ratios quite right there to give an exact timing of the phase of the moon. Uh, I think I see on the moon phases, yeah. Goal, uh, a ping pong ball represents the actual moon at the top of the clock. And that's the main face of the clock. Another slight deviation from Bert Love's plan is additional weight. The clock needs to rewind uh, once approximately every 16 hours. So in order to motorise this we've used some electric kit parts and in the bottom right hand corner you'll see uh, two contacts made out of electric kit parts which the weights will activate through a capacitor to give a good uh, bump and move the, uh, the contacts over to rewind. At the top of the uh, weights travel there is uh, contact made out of uh, electric kit parts again and a final override switch which is just a straightforward limit switch just in case the uh, uh, two contacts below it don't operate correctly. Just to provide a bit of variation uh, on rewinding these lights flash and these are driven off uh, electric kit parts here. So on rewind there is a, a musical box mechanism in there to just to give it a little bit more action. The power controller is a, a, an old Marshall 3 power unit made by Meccano. The clock was built around 2003. Um, apart from a, a while about three years when it was in store, it has gone reasonably continuous since then. A single chime every quarter of an hour. There is a way that you can fit false chimes in one of these clocks, but I haven't got around to doing that. 